Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I hope you are doing good. So today I'm going to show you how you can delete in view and also I will show you with API how you can delete a particular row. So I will be dividing it in two parts. So in today's video I will show you how you can on click of delete button how you can call a function and and send a XAOs request. And in my next video I'll show you how to delete that in Laravel that is back inside API. So let's get started with today's video. So that's the form we are using from starting of this series. And here you can see in list there is edit and if I click on submit it will edit and redirect to contact list. Now we are left with our delete that is our last functionality here. Now let me show you code and let's go to contact list component. And in list you can see right now I have given as router link. But here router link will not work here i will be using it as a button of delete so let's create another button here and pass as value delete now let's give same class and let's comment this router length as we need only one delete now let's check in browser so it looks same now let me just close all other tabs we don't need anything so now in this we need to apply at the rate click here to our button so let's go and write at the rate click and it will calling one function so you can give function name so here i'm giving delete contact and inside that i need to pass particular id that which show like contact i want to delete so this will be items dot id so now let's create this method in methods so i delete contact and it will take one parameter so let's take contact id and let's console it so now let me show you in browser let's inspect go to console now let's click on delete button so here you can see one two three id so each row id it's taking but here now let's say if i'll click and it will directly delete it then it's not safe here so now let's add one confirmation here so for that i'll be using sweet alert so i have open npm website and here you can download so i have copied the command and Second tab is for suite alert documentation. You can go through it and check. In the last, you can see download and install. So, you, same command is here. And how to import that also you can see. And uh, CSS, how to apply. So, all these things you can see in documentation. So, now let's go and install that. So, paste the command here. Enter. And now you can see in package.json, this is added. So, now let's import suite alert into our list. So copy this import and paste it. So now let's see the example and we want a sweet alert with the confirm button, cancel button. So here you can see one example is there, close button is there, great. So this one is something different. Here you can see, so this one is exactly we want. So three buttons save, don't save, cancel. So I'm just going to use the same template here. So now let's copy this paste this in our method that is delete contact so now let's check in browser so you can see it's coming but okay css i forgot to include now let's go to documentation and copy css so now let's add this in our file so right now i'm just adding in file now let's go and draw in browser if i'll click so here you can see now it's taking css but in every file we will not be including css so let's go and include that in our app.js okay sweet alert will not be here it will be in particular file only because it's an import so now let's go and check in browser so here you can see it's taking css so now let's change title let's say are you sure you want to delete this contact then after that show deny button all these will be true confirm button let's change confirm button to yes and uh, deny will be let's say don't delete and uh, inside then we will be hitting our api so now let's write xcos so let's copy from above only and uh, you can also do it like you can return a promise from here and then you can handle it in a variable and after that you can check one if and else condition and then hit your xcos request so here just example i'm showing you right now inside this only so now let's change our url so it will be host port api but uh, last will be contact delete and uh, it will be response obviously we are getting then it will not go in contact list it will call this function get contact list 
it's like after delete this contact list should reload again so now let's put this sweet alert of success inside Dexios and uh, inside the catch we can have sweet alert let's say something went wrong so now let's check in browser so let's click on delete now let's say yes so it's saying something went wrong if I'll click again don't delete then changes are not saved and if I'll cancel nothing pop up will be there so here yes, something went wrong is coming as right now API is not creating and uh, that API is giving error that 404 is not found so that's why something went wrong so that's all in this video in my next video I'll show you by creating API and complete delete flow so I hope you like this video if you have any doubt related to this topic then you can comment down in the comment section thank you so much for watching please like share and subscribe to my channel